eat it. Do you like snacks? Do I like snacks? Is that even a question? I eat snacks like 24 seven. I feel like my sister likes more snacks than me, but yeah, I would say I sort of like snacks. I love snacks. I'm a very big snack guy. Today, you're gonna be trying some of the most classic Korean snacks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, no way. I'm so excited. Fun fact, I wanna go to Korea and Japan so bad. I just learned about like Japan and Korea in class in my school. So cool. Have you ever had Korean snacks before? Yeah, I have. I love the Korean market. I'm always there. Not that I remember anything. No, I've never had any Korean snack. Not that I can recall. I expect myself to at least try everything I'm given because I'm known, at least when I was younger, to not try things. I'm gonna be optimistic and I will hope that it is good. It better be good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I know it's gonna be good. You're gonna be having five different snacks. I'm gonna have you rate from one to 10 okay. for each item. That one is called Choco Pie. It first came out in 1974. This one is more like a cake rather than being a snack. It's got a layer of marshmallow in between two layers of bread. So it's like a sandwich. Wait, this is Korean? Every time I go to Target or Walmart, I see these mini brand things and I always see like this on there and I always wanted to try it, but I don't know where to find it. So I'm so excited. Let me tell you something. I hate s'mores, I'm sorry. I like the graham crackers, but I don't like cake either. So this is just two things I don't like. I did not know these were Korean because they sell these at the Filipino market as well. And I'm Filipina, so I have been eating these my whole entire life too. All jokes aside, if this didn't have marshmallows and I maybe would like this. Okay, I, okay, s'mores are pretty good, but I just like the marshmallow part. So I think I'm gonna like this. Mmm. It's not super chocolatey. It's a thin outside layer. I really like that. Cause I don't normally eat these things. So like, I've never had marshmallow in like a decade. Uh, chocolate's rich, but it's fine, I guess. And then the cake is, the cake is the only good part. It's not like too thick, but it's really soft. The chocolate is good. It's kind of dry though. <laughs> And it has like the marshmallow filling stuff inside, but it's not too like sticky and gooey. It's perfect. It's such a good snack. I'd give this um maybe a seven. Seven, because it kind of gets stuck in your teeth. I'm starting to realize now. That is 11 out of 10. So good. It's a four. It's edible, guys. A seven. Seven out of 10. I definitely rate this 10 out of 10. This is great. So those are called home run ball. It first came out in 1981. Home run ball is a biscuit containing a chocolate cream in a very soft shell. To be fair, most snacks are sweets. So honestly, this is why I'm like more of the salty chip. We got popcorn, we got tortilla chips, we got, you know, pretzels. Like those are all salty things. So this is really outside my comfort zone. Um, they're like, Hello Pandas, but then these don't have pandas on them. <laughs> it's like a, a cream puff, but chocolate. What? Oh, that is nothing what I expected it to be like. Um. That was weird. I feel like I need to try another one to explain it. These are super soft. They're like little puff balls and they just like melt in your mouth. They're great. Mmm. It takes like a few bites to like get into the chocolate and then it's not like the chocolate's hard or anything. It's like, it's like very tiny. But then once you have it, it's like a, like a Hershey's kiss. You can also enjoy them with air fryer. So the chocolate cream becomes creamier and the shell becomes crispier for that extra texture. I could have like a few of these, but then after a while, I, 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 would, I would not like it. Like I would, I could have like one more then I'm like, I'm done. So because of that, it's also getting a four. If I gave Choco Pie a seven, probably around the same. I'm giving this an eight out of 10. Again, 10 out of 10. These are amazing. 10 out of 10. 
for sure. Mm -hmm. Those are called Banana Kick. It came out in 1978. As you can see, obviously, it's a banana flavored snack. They're shaped like if a soccer player were to perform a banana kick. That's why they're curved in a C shape. Or simply, it's just shaped like a banana. Gotcha. Ooh, I'm excited for these. Packaging is so much better than ours. Oh my god, it smells like bananas. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay, it smells like bananas and then it has an after effect of chips. If you put this smell in front of me, I would, and I was blindfolded, I would just say it's a banana. I wouldn't think it's like little chips. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, here we go. Banana is definitely one of my S tier fruits. <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of? Oh God, I gotta think. Cause I'm really bad at names. Isn't this like Cheetos? These are like the, these are the yellow. Cheetos. I like the texture. I don't know how much I like the banana flavor. Okay. But like, the consistency of like a Cheeto, like a Cheeto puff. It's a very slight hint of banana, but it more reminds me of a, like, you know when you go to like the gas station and you get like those popcorns that are like in that weird like triangle shape that's like thick and then it goes skinny? It tastes like the plain kind of that, but if you just add banana to it, it's really good. Again, love bananas, so this is really good. It's not my favorite. I like regular bananas, but like flavored stuff, mmm. Don't get me wrong, bananas are great. But the problem is, um, you get the chip after. Like, like it tastes good for a second, but then it doesn't. These ones are probably my favorite so far. I'll actually use a scale. I'll give these a 10,000 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a five. No, I have to give these a 10 out of 10 too. Like, what? We're gonna say it is a 5.5. .5. I'm gonna be weird. I would probably would like to try this again, but would I eat it? I give these ones an eight. Also because of like the design. It's a really cute snack. <laughs> that one is called Ocarto. It first came out in 1999. Ocarto is a potato chip and it's shaped similar to French fries. Are these cheese flavored? I'm a little bit um, suspicious. Oh, they're thicker than I thought they would be. Look at this. Look at this packaging. Like, look how good that is. Okay. Cream and cheese flavor. Ooh, I'm excited for this. I'm not even gonna take this. Okay. It looks like they don't have that much flavor on them, though. So we'll see. Oh, I lied. These remind me of those veggie chips. What are they called? Veggie straws? These are so good. Oh my gosh, I'm tripping. They kind of taste like the orange ones, but more cheesier. And they're really good. I actually really like these. The flavor's really nice. Where's the water? Is that water? This is definitely the type of snack that I would eat one and I would have to keep eating more and more and more and more. Cheese flavored stuff, not my favorite. I give this one a seven. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give it another five. I would rate these a 10 out of 10. There has to be something that I don't like in this map. Like, I, there's like one more, and I've liked all of them so far. I'll give it a pity 0.5. It gets a pity. That one is called Onion Rings. Onion Rings came out in 1983. There's an American snack that looks very similar to that. Can you guess what it is? Funyuns. I think you're talking about Funyuns? Funyuns, I have a bag right here. <laughs> I've never had a Funyun, which is why my friend has despised me and literally has told me if we ever go back to school, which we are, uh, he's gonna make me try one. And I'm like, no. I like the packaging. I like the guy on the front. He looks like he's living his best life. It's DJ Yang. 
DJ Yang! Hey! <laughs> Similar flavor, for sure. Oh. Oh yeah. The texture is different for bunions. Here, here we go, guys. Wait, should I? No, I should have the whole thing. Okay. I like these. The texture... I feel like Funyuns are much easier to break. They taste pretty similar to Funyuns. Not as strong as a fla of a flavor. They literally taste like Funyuns if there wasn't as much flavor in the Funyuns. It's like more held together and it's like thicker in a way. The smell ruins it. Okay, I don't know what this smells like, but I don't like it. And because I don't like it, it sort of ruins it because smell, as you know, is a huge part of how food tastes. You need your smell and you need your tongue. That's how it all works, okay? This is a six. I'll give these an eight. But I was having very high expectations for these. I'll give them a nine out of 10. I have to say they're a 10 out of 10 too because I would 100% go buy these and eat them myself. Oh God, you need a rating for this? Barely edible, that gets a three. It is barely. I think I'm good at judging things. But which one is your favorite? Um, it would have to be either the home run balls or the banana. So yeah, the banana kick. These ones were the best. The home run balls. The one I keep like coming back to are the banana chips. Those ones are like really good. I would recommend the person who loves Funyuns, that um, onion thing, just to see how horrible they are. <laughs> I don't know, I was so satisfied with all of them. And at the end of the day, I would like to acknowledge the fact that even though this food's disgusting to me, and even though I barely found any of this food edible, that does not mean you should stop eating something because I said I hated it. Because there's always gonna be someone out there who hates something that you like. Thanks for watching this episode of Replay. If you like this video, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and like. Let us know what snacks you would like us to try in the comments below. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and see ya. <laughs>